this video is about uh, the power supply that I bought from eBay so let me tell you why this is the best power supply for beginners first it has an output voltage capability up to 30 volts and current current capability of 5 amps next the main feature is that it has constant current mode in which the whatever load you connect doesn't matter the there will always be a set constant current flowing through the load unless the voltage is too low it also shows you the power that has been drawn by the that has been drawn by the device connected to its output and it also shows you the voltage in by the way this power supply actually needs needs a dc dc power in which i have connected this is the this is the dc power in to the supply and this is the output and this enclosure in which this power supply is inserted has nothing to do with the power supply itself now let me show you some of the uses of the constant current mode to set a constant current first press set then go to the current which is this is the voltage the first the first numbers and this is the current so i'll be setting it to 10 milliamps independent of the load connected to the output the power supply will only let it draw 10 milliamps and not more than that so i'll be using this mode to test uh, led you can see that the set voltage is 12.45 if i wouldn't have set the current limit to 10 milliamps this led would have blown when i pressed the on button but it won't although this power supply is not accurate it is good enough for beginners you can see that the voltage automatically dropped to 1.99 volts now if i connect it back it will actually blow because the internal capacitor is charged to 12 volts and it will put the 12 volts to this led and it will actually blow so first i have to discharge the internal capacitor by pressing the off button and then again no wait once it's discharged connect the led back and then there you go. This is how you can use the constant current mode of this power supply to test LEDs. It also has presets. So I have set a few presets in here. As you can see. M1 is set for 12 volts and 2.1 amps current limit. The M2 is set to 5 volts and 50 milliamps current limit. M3 is set to 4.15 and 1.5 amps as the current limit. The constant current mode can also be used to charge the charge lithium ion cells. I will link a video that shows this in detail uh, this is how you set a preset first go into set press set again then using these two buttons go to m pre m preset then scroll to the preset you want to set so there are m0 to m it's something I am not sure. 
so let's say I want to set M7 because already I have set M6 M7 is not set which is the default setting is 5 volts 5.1 amps so let me set this press set to go back let's set it to let's say 9 volts so this will be 9 let's set the current limit to 1 amp 1 amp for 1 amp that's 1 amp then keep the set button pressed until some until m7 appears here so i'll start pressing it done when m7 appears here the preset has been saved so now go back now let's say I wanted to go to the preset I just said just now which is M7 I'll press this for more than two seconds okay so M0 appears here I'll scroll to M7 and, pre and press set again boom 9 volts 1 amperes what which exactly the values I said before so that is how you set a preset one of the use of this power supply is charging batteries so let's say I wanted to charge this battery uh, it's a lithium ion 3.7 volt battery with a charge of 2600 milliamperes each so that would mean the total battery has a capacity of 2600 in times 2 which is 5400 milliamps so the C in this case is 5.6 5.4 amps so I'll be charging this battery at 0.5 C which is half of 5.4 which is 2.6 amps so what I need to do is first set the maximum voltage of the battery which is which is 4.2 4.2 and then set the charging current which is 2.6 amps then That's the battery. You can see that the voltage of the battery is three point five volts. It's turned on. So it's gone and it's gone in constant current mode and is charging currently at 6.2 amps uh, this is how you set a preset first go into set press set again then using these two buttons go to m pre m preset then scroll to the preset you want to set so there are m0 to m8 something i am not sure so let's say i want to set m7 because already i have set m6 m7 is not set which is the default setting is 5 volts 5.1 amps so let me set this press set to go back let's set it to let's say 9 volts so this will be 9 let's set the current limit to 1 amp 1 amp for 1 amp that's 1 amp then keep the set button pressed until some 
until M7 appears here. So I'll start pressing it. Done. When M7 appears here, the preset has been saved. So now go back. Now let's say I wanted to go to the preset I just set just now, which is M7. I'll press this for more than two seconds. Okay, so M0 appears here. I'll scroll to M7 and, pre and press set again. Boom! 9 volts 1 amperes. What, which exactly the values I set before. So that is how you set a preset.